Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Techno News. Remember to uh, hit the thumbs up on this video, subscribe and ring the bell for alerts of new content. Going forward, it will be very much appreciated. Thank you. So yeah, the first bit of news we had was the PlayStation 5 Summer of Gaming Showcase. I was a little late to watching it, but I did get round to seeing it. There was a few things in there that did grab my attention. A lot of it didn't really, but these were a few of the highlights that grabbed me personally. Um, the first of which being Helldivers 2. It just looks good fun, to be honest. I'm not sure. I never really heard of the first one. I don't know what kind of gameplay it was. From what I gather, it was a twin stick shooter. But this looks like it could be tremendous fun, especially with friends. It looks very much Starship Troopers inspired. Uh, lots of big bug alien type things overrunning. And these Space Marine guys trying to fight them off. It looked very much like a extreme horde mode um i don't know if you played Gears of war um basically where things just keep charging at you and you've got to survive for as long as you can yeah it, it could be good fun just tongue-in-cheek human shooter by the looks of it as i said it looks very much inspired by the starship trooper films down to the bugs themselves and very much like them i did have to check to see if it was related to that but apparently it is just inspired by that but um Graphically, it looks pretty impressive, to be fair. So yeah, that's one I'm going to be keeping an eye on and may get round to playing down the line. Next up, we have Ghost Runner 2. Um, I did actually play the first one of this. I got quite a way through it. I don't think I actually finished it, to be fair, but it was really good fun, to be honest. It was like a puzzle shooter sort of thing uh, first person perspective you had to uh, try and find an exit from the level you were on um, by solving various puzzles and killing certain guys without getting hit and things like that um, this looks more of the same but a lot more um, it was really quick really good fun you needed really good reflexes that's probably why I didn't get very far in it yeah it's all about timings and button pushes and things like that but yeah I'll be looking forward to that one. I'll be giving that one a look down the line too. Next on the list is a game I've never really heard of. It's called Phantom Blade Zero. Apparently there's a series of these games. This one looked very much Souls-like. Um, much in the veins of Dark Souls and things like that. Um, again, aesthetically, it looks really impressive. A lot of big fights. Um, looks like it's Chinese-inspired as well, to be fair. Sort of Oriental vibes, but... Yeah, it could be interesting. It could be a challenge. There's a guy who looks a bit like Yoshimitsu. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing more of this, see what it's all about. Um, I still need to play Sekiro, to be honest, um, but this looks like very similar to that, but a bit more spooky as such. There's the big boss showing up. But yeah, um, again, it's one of the ones of the showcase that took me attention uh graphically gameplay style i do like this kind of thing i'm not very good at it but i do like it um so i'll be keeping an eye on that one next on the list i wasn't that surprised by it but it did take a lot of people by surprise apparently um and that is the return of metal gear i was watching a lot of reaction videos following the showcase uh, there's a lot of clips on TikTok and YouTube of people watching the highlights of this. And some of the reactions are a bit over the top. I mean, I know it's a big franchise. But for me, it never really grabbed us that much. And this is just a remake of the old, I believe it was on the Nintendo. It was a Nintendo exclusive, this one, wasn't it, Snake Eater? Um, correct us if I'm wrong in the comments. But they did announce that there's going to be a reissue of the original trilogy um by the looks of it as well i don't know if the remasters it's called the master collection um so it was about this point i was shouting snake but there's a lot of other people getting a bit over carried away and jumping about like idiots and stuff but yeah each to their own it might be worth looking at and like i say i've never really played i played the first one on the playstation I think I might have played a bit of the second one, but I never really got past that, to be honest. But yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on that. Similarly, 
with Final Fantasy. Again, it's another big franchise with a big following. I've not really played any of these. It's never really floated my boat. I'm not into a sort of strategy type games like this where it's all turn based combat and things like that. I think there was word that that might be changing in this one, but I'm not sure. Um, but I never really got into the GRPG genre at all to be honest but i know there is a huge huge following on final fantasy and they've been let down a few times and they're hoping this is going to be the redeemer um so it'll be interesting to see what people make of it when that releases next was another announcement i'm sure this had already been announced to be honest i think this was just a more detailed look at the gameplay um for Alan Wake 2. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm sure this had already been announced. I'm sure I remember seeing it somewhere before. Um, but this is just showing you a little bit more about what it's all about. I never really played the first one, to be honest. From memory, it was, was it a launch title on the 360? Or it came not long after. But I know there was a huge cry out for people wanting a follow-up. And it never really came, but now it looks like it's happening properly. Um, I might give it a look. Uh, it's, it was like very much one of the first survival type games um, where you had limited batteries and bullets and things. And it was, it was meant to be really tricky to be fair, but um, I do need to give it a look and see what it's all about. Maybe revisit the first one. I'm sure it's on the Game Pass or whatever. Could be worth a look. Another game that was announced, um, which grabbed me, was Marathon by Bungie. I remember playing Marathon a long time ago. Um, I believe it was probably on the SNES kind of era. Um, it was like a first-person shoot. Their first game based around... It was very much like a Doom like at the time. But it did have puzzles and things like that. Um, what grabbed us more about this was not so much the trailer as it was very vague. Um, people actually found clues within the trailer. If you pause it at certain screens. Um, where there's like interference on the screen and things like that. Like that. Um, it gives you clues. And if you go on, if you followed their websites and um, Twitter, social media and things, there was like a viral marketing happening. Um, very vague clues, lots of codes to decipher and things like that. Um, I was watching Dr. Lupo um, talking about it, actually. And while he was streaming, looking into it, uh Apparently some mysterious man in black showed up at his house and delivered a package with a sort of cipher code and various bits of information. As he was trying to decipher that, he found out a lot of other bigger streamers also received packs with different information in. So they were all trying to sort of compile the information, try and work out each other's clues and get to the bottom of it and um, try and work out what the puzzle was and where it led. I didn't actually catch the end of it to be fair. I was going to have a back look through it tonight and see what they found out. But I love all that sort of stuff. It's, it's quite interesting um, how people actually work out these things and things they find. Like, like I said in the trailer, if you pause the screen at like certain points, you can see little bits of code on the screen in between the trailer and between the hairs and stuff. Incredible how they'd find all that shit, but um, I'll be keeping an eye on that one. Another game that was shown was very vague, to be honest. It was just a bit of a trailer of a spaceship flying about. Um, turns out it's a game called Concord. No idea what it's about. Could be good, could be crap. Might be a bit of a no man's sky kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm going to keep an eye on it and see where it is. Hopefully it'll be decent, but you never know. And that's about all it showed on there. Yeah, the next bit of news is relating to the game I play the most, uh, Valorant. Uh, it has been announced that there's going to be some changes made to one of the maps, Pearl. Basically, 
B-side is just one long sniper battle at the minute. But they've tweaked it to try and make things a little bit more competitive. Um, they've shortened the cover at the top of the hill, give a bit more cover at the bottom of the hill, widen the part in the mid there, um, just to give people a bit more space to breathe. Um, so it could be interesting to see how this plays out. It, to me, it's a positive change. It, it's needed because uh, it's literally at the minute it's just people hiding behind the cover at the top with snipers popping people at the bottom um so it's it doesn't make a very good gameplay but this could help as you can say there's put boxes and behind the billboard thing so you can actually get up and try and fight back now and they've added a bit cover at the back of the site where you can sort of dip in there instead of it being flat wall they put a alcove in so you can hide behind there and try and give them a bit of a fight back or have a bit cover and wait for them to come down. So yeah, it could be interesting. Much needed. Go over that. And then lastly, obviously the Mage Punk has released. Um, it came out at a price of 6,127 points, which is a bit of a peculiar number. But with that you get the Phantom, the Vandal, the Knife, a Buddy and a Charm. I don't know how the price works out. I'm sure it says you get something free in the bundle but i think it might just be the buddy in the car to be fair because there's no way you get either of them free for the price of the bundle but yeah that came out last night much to a lot of people's happiness lastly it's a bit sad really i don't know if you're aware of i might have mentioned the streaming service glimish in the past it was a nice little site um but that was the problem it was little didn't really get as much support as it should have it, the actual streaming platform itself was tremendous it was ftl pretty much instant messaging quality ran great everything was fine but there was a lot of politics between certain community members and some of the people who actually managed the site apparently I, I didn't really see much of that but the, the, i did have a few issues with a few members of the community myself but um that's neither here nor there there was a lot of how can i put it there was a lot of people shouting with very little outcome as such it, it was a bit of a strange situation it's a shame though because like i said the actual platform itself ran great and it had so much potential but apparently it is closing its doors um june is going to be the last month of the platform and um, they are going to be running a pride month event which they normally do every year and it's normally quite successful to be fair um so please do check that out it's all in need of charity um so keep an eye on my twitter because i'll be posting links and things like that nearer the time so you can be aware of that but yeah it's all a bit of a shame um it is closing down and that's going to be happening as i said around the end of june from what i saw um on the post regarding that matter i wish them all the best um i'm hoping it was all open source so all the data is there if people want to use it they can um obviously they just need to try and get some new hosting and stuff really and then they can literally copy and paste it and have a platform running themselves i hope somebody does pick up the reins there was a couple of guys who were highly into the development side of it um i'm hoping one or two will then pick it up and try and do something with it because it's it's a shame to let it go yeah so that's the news as it stands at the minute thanks for watching i do appreciate you coming by um again please hit the thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel ring the bell for alerts for when more content comes out and remember to leave some feedback in the comments below it'd be very much appreciated just to let us know how i'm getting on and remember i will be back live most nights from around 10 o'clock uk time and that's over on twitch.tv technofish live and follow my twitter and tiktok for more updates and further information and extra content and in the meantime appreciate you coming by and i'll see you in the next one ciao for now